Hello everyone, Dillian here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and this one is on a Breeze Flea Machine and Crystal Beast vs. Bulk from Invasion from Below Wave 2 of 2014, of course. So on the front of the bags here have the LEGO logo, Hero Factory logos, and Invasion from Below, and of course that nice artwork up top, and picture of the sets that come within in the cavern in the caves of course and also do you get the names of the sets down below and also the like mini minifigs and other accessories included and also age group set number amount of pieces and on the back of which do you have different pictures of each of both sets and actual size of the minifigs included and also, scanner code and usual warnings and all, but yeah. And like the rest, some good artwork on the bottom of which, but in pure black and gray, but yeah. And so now onto the two instruction manuals, of which same picture as on the front of the bags and everything. have this long comic strip on how it's all going down and also for the combination model of course on the back kind of went on the online survey <clears throat> out of all the sets of the invasion from below wave 2 and also add for the mobile app that there was or is and then out of the combination models that there are. And then how to swap the uh, top bits from some few sets on e on uh, one uh, Serbian Rocket Combat Machine, of course, and the pieces that come with the set, of course, and then the last steps. The sets or the mini things included. So, first off, we have Nally Breeze or mini fig version, but at least now with a gun little great uh, chest plate armor piece on, kind of interesting. But although only way to this. Breeze Flea Machine, only way to get her in this wave, of course, unlike how in the first wave, or in the first wave of which was, in, of course, in uh, Flyer Beast vs. Breeze, and also the Polybag, which was more hard to find, but of course, now in a set again, this time. But also, first time in a set, uh, which is Duncan Bulk, uh, which, and, well, only two. Well, out uh, two sets of this wave, also with bulk drill machine, of course. And of course, the same pieces as we had for all the same pieces as, as the other hero minifigs, but for his uh, helmet, of which, as you see, it does have a, a lime green uh, headpiece, of which, but although bulk uh, had more orange to him, but I think it should have been an orange, which of course, but yeah. And as for his helmet piece, of which, which looks just about the same, which looks just like a uh, bulk break, brain attacks helmet, but however, in the Nickelodeon episode special, uh, it, which was more a 1.0 breakout helmet piece, but not sure why it did so like that, but whatever. And of course, both of which are wielding this, the stud shooter, since this time, which is when they introduce that of course that fire like so and on the back of which you can see not 
nothing, not much going for Breeze since he probably doesn't need that for this set of Witch, but whereas Bulk of Witch, same thing, just what Breeze had in the last wave, which were clips with cones representing jet boosters, of course, but yeah. But, and what else to say? Not much, but yeah. And next to which is one of the jumpers, but with the top bit now in blue instead of black, of course. And this of which does come in a few other sets, well, with this orange bottom bit, of course, but yeah. And also, not sure why other sets didn't include red bottom ones, which the ones in the first wave kind of did, but whatever. And of course, like all the rest, just push down on the butt and just let it fling off like so, of course. And also included with both sets are these cocoon pieces. Like this red one that comes with Breeze Flea Machine. It does also come in a couple other sets, but this one in green that comes with Crystal Beast, of which also in just only two sets. This and also Queen Beast, of course. So, of course, red's kind of the most common, but yeah. And of course, already explained it in my last review of Rocket Crawler and Tunnel Beast, so don't need to say much for that, but yeah. So now, starting now with Breeze Flea Machine. So, interesting build to it, and of course, kind of in a tripod ish kind of look to it. Sort of like the Evo Walker kind of was. So, and so now, sort of with that. The feet of which do have size 3 armor bits with the Savage Planet uh, clip on kind of pieces, and also those armor rat on pieces from. It, uh, breakout, of course, but now in line green. So for mocking, this is which great to have. And on one side, and on this top bit of it is if you like, which is kind of a grapple hook, is which you can do so like that. And of course, on the annoying Lego string, of course, but if if it's like fully extended, you can just flip it out like a regular flip fire missile. And of course, with this little piece from the Iron Man build a figure set, you can like wind it back in, of course. Which does take kind of a while. And also on this one side, do you get a couple of flip fire missiles? Oh, of course. Although this time, 2014 is when we were introduced to Sprinkler Launchers, which, and of course, they were slowly transitioning from that, but yeah. And on one side of which does have a size 4 armor bit, but with some green and also the Hero Factory symbol on it, of course. And what this thing's for is, what this bit's for is, for if you were to fling it up and have Breeze zip line down it and use this one, like we see with most sets, of course. And the neat thing is, this top bit of it, you can like detach for that and kind of vacant empty space on top with a thin or thinner uh, torso bit, of course. And of course, as you saw in the manuals, can swap with or swap onto Zergen Rock Combat Machine, of course, but yeah. And as for this front cockpit bit, bit, you can see, same as all the other ones, but also does have a sticker indicating that it's bree that says Breeze on it, to know that's for Breeze. And those do get a 1x2 uh, plate piece with that has the Hero Factory symbol on it, which most of the heroes also had on their arms, of course. And of course, just like the others, is also can like stick Breeze onto a course and clip her hand on one of those Exoforce hands that are the levers, of course. And close it on up, just like so, of course. I guess that is about it with Breeze Flea Machine. And now on to Crystal Beast. 
of which quite cool, of which kind of cool for that. So a lot of translucent light blue, of course. Since of course we were getting slowly getting introduced to translucent pieces at this time, or CCBS pieces for this time, of course. Which also for the like second wave of Jima construction sets that were originally for America, but suddenly canceled to be in America and are only in Europe and all. But at least this is a good way to get some alternative piece or clear translucent pieces at this time. But at least they did that more with Generation 2 Bonacle, obviously. Yeah. So for the feet, which are just the larger sized feet pieces like we've seen with uh, Oh, with, with uh, Splitter Beast, of course, and yeah. And we do see that on other sets in the future, and also get this odd, like, or limb piece in translucent blue, and of course, size 3 armor pieces in blue. Would have been nice if they were size 4 for that, but maybe that'd be a little much. And as for the torso piece, of which, oh, which is the traditional under armor piece, and also, this unique armor piece, of which just the same as Queen Beasts, of course, but not sure why, but maybe this would have been better in translucent blue or with a little different print on it. Just, just saying what I'm just saying, but yeah. And if look from the back of which, just a size, another size three armor piece is for that. And also the narrower torso piece, of course. And also for the tail is one of those like uh, tip tip pieces, of course, and another uh, armor limb piece, of course. But I think it would have been better if it was like one more of these kind of pieces to make it a little longer. But yeah, whatever. And as for the arms, which have the same pieces going on and also same kind of hand effect that uh, Tumblr Beast and others also had with that neat piece and also Savage Planet uh, clock pieces in trans blue. Very nice. But one hand of which does have this interesting staff or spear kind of weapon to it. Which has a couple of some lime green spikes on it and to the top part is Oh, which is the oh, whoops. Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, for this top video, which does have the Savage Planet uh, Quasa spike pieces, but now with green added in, instead of with some red and also all plain silver, but at least good to have this green color. So, like, add on to your mocking but and yeah and also at the main features you can uh, adjust these in and out of course but yeah and as for the neck part same pieces and another one of course and for the main headpiece same as most of the other uh, beast set villain beast set of this wave of course and also it's in the downward type of position rather than the other opposite side position which in this position is kind of the most common way of this wave but whatever but at least but, but, but also it's in it also trans blue with some nice printing on it kind of still kind of cool So now, on, let me get everything here, and on to the final verdict. Okay. So, overall, these, I think, are quite good sets, quite cool sets for the time. Like, you get a few good recolors of which, and also get a full set that is for Breeze, of course, which haven't seen since, like, Brain Attack Wave 1 at this time, but yeah. And also with, for Crystal Beast, a lot of nice translucent blue pieces, so 
So Crystal Beast does is kind of a bit of a parts pack for that. Yeah, so yeah. And also kind of on interest and also a good way to get bulk in this one, but although it does also come with bulk drill machine of which is next next throwback Thursday, but yeah. And although for Reed's fully machine, I think and a fourth leg also could have worked out, but you can add that on if you wanted. But yeah, and all and what else is there? To say? I think one more jumper could have been included with Breeze Flea Machine, like in red, of course. But yeah, this, but I can forgive how these came out to this day. But yeah. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.